Hello, baseball fans, and welcome to two of the best teams in the game square off. It's Chicago taking on Cleveland. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, couple of first place teams, two of the best in the sport squaring off here tonight. Well, coming into the season, based on the moves that they made in the offseason, this is the expectation. So they are realizing their potential. But going head to head, this might be a preview of what we see late in October. Just about ready to go. And our pitcher in this game, number 40. Tell us about him in that sub three ERA, Singy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the. So up next, Cap Henson. This guy wanted to. And next is the designated hitter, the Bambino Perez. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Oh, did it one time. Here you go. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. You'll want. And ball one. one. One one now. Bounce to third. Fires over to first. That's the second out. Batting four. The center fielder. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, number 50. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Check swing, no appeal, and one and one. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches, and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Next offering upstairs. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Kick and deals. Check swing. He held up. And the count is three and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. And that one in the air center field. Gore snags it for the second out. Here's the catcher, number 46. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. That's off the mark. Now one and two. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. 
The next That's offering misses, and it's two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Next offering in the oh, dirt, no. and it's three and two. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two-bagger. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on the tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Man at second here with two away. And here is Bill Phillips. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Gore pulls it in on the run. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. And here's the rookie center fielder, Dave Rowe. Perez back to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Whips it across, and quickly one away in the second. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name, and... Uh, that's just part of being a professional player and ball, even a major league player. Number 32 in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And yeah. there's the strike. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small number talk seven. the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great now the third baseman number seven All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. that's uh, in there one. and that is strike one. Oh, and one up the middle burns slings the first and that is the inning we'll move to the third with no score Back here at the ballpark, Meanwhile, bottom of the inning. Blue. Now here is the number 40. Hitter. Number 40. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Line drive, oh. and that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. The ball. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Next to hit, Schaefer. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 0 2. That one missed. Oh. And it's even oh. up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now two and two. And he grounds one to the right side. Henson takes it himself and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Number 50. So the lineup flips over and stepping in is the speedy number 50. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Strike one. Oh one. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The 0-2. Ball, that's up. 
You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high foul. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Welcome back. New inning Lino getting started. Now it's going to be the Bambino, the Bambino Perez. Perez. The Bambino Perez. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. And forget it. A solo shot. His 49th home run of the season. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well. And the batter now, Fred Dunlap. Cleveland, the second baseman, Perez, Fred. back to work. Dunlap. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Gore makes the catch, and there's one gone. Man, is he fast. He's so fun to watch. Number 46, yeah. batting with one down, takes no a ball. strike. One strike. And that one fouled off. The wind in the pitch. Got him swinging. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. The first baseman, number 25. Phillips at the plate and takes high there. One and out. Next pitch is outside. Oh. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. No, no. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That's the ball. Check swing, no appeal. 3 and 0. Oh. And All that's right, in for a strike. Righty delivers. Ripped on a line. He makes the grab, and that ends the inning. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the center fielder, Dave Rowe. Here comes a pitch. Fly ball down the line. Nichols makes the grab on the run. Now batting. Number 32. Number 32 now at the plate. Grounded out his first time up. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Oh. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Next pitch in the dirt. And a full count now. One down, base is empty. Ripped on a line to center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two down. Now batter. Number seven. And now it's switch hitting third baseman. Number seven. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Going one. Oh and one. That's in there. Now oh, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Not even one, close two. there. And that is ball one. Hard hit, right side. In plenty of time to first. And that is that.
Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. Perez, multi time all star, 29 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. And that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Now it's the DH, number 40. Pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Oh, it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, uh -uh, but they've ball. not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And now two balls no, and a strike. Next offering is foul back. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. On the ground to first. Henson steps on the bag. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out now of the now. air. Let's the defense Number work behind two. him with another ground ball. Good execution. Schaefer digs in now. Schaefer hitting better against right-handers this year. So some reverse splits there. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two away. And yeah, the batter now, number 50. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed. Two balls, two strikes. In the dirt. Flint down to first. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Seventh inning coming up. The All Nations out front here. One to nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman. Fred. Dunlap. The wind of the pitch. Trying to yeah. keep good speed off the bases. The tying run at the plate. And that That's skips into there. Falling behind that two and one. Ball. That's inside. That's That's Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And that one is lifted in the air. Nichols under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. The batter. Number and here's the catcher, number 46. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That's in there. It's 0 1. On a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Bell off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base, maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Phillips nope, up for the third time and takes ball one. One ball, no strike. Pitch misses ball. there, and the count is 2-0. 2 0 There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Two, and two. two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Ready to begin the eighth.
Well, one run game. And now it's going to be Dave Rowe. Oh, what a stop. The throw, and they get the out. Third base would have to be so quick with their first now step back. reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Stepping in, number 32. Oh. First offering, misses the mark. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Whoa, whoa. Next pitch is downstairs. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. 2-2. Two -two. Fights it off, you'll see another. That one ran okay. inside, almost got him. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Line drive. He's got it. And there's two down. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but... No reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. Number seven in the box now. No balls and a strike. That one Ball. misses in the dirt. 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. On the ground right side. Burns. On to first. Oh. Inning over. Welcome back. We go to the ninth, and now the DH, the Bambino Perez. The Bambino Perez. Fat back to work. And that one hammered Rowe, raging back towards the wall. Still going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the DH, number 40. Number 40. That's to third. Fires across the diamond, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Schaefer in the box now. Take strike one. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. And a foul ball. Riding to the plate. In the air to left center. Number five. On the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Down Two down. away down. Number 50. Number 50. Getting ready to hit. This one popped up. Burns should have this one. That's the ball game. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. one nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.